Good leap day, everybody, and welcome to Wake Up Missoula, um, Missoula's own last best morning show, period. Yes. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Welcome to Wake Up Missoula. My name is Noelle McAvoy. And I'm Scott Ram. And it's leap day. And today, next year won't exist. <laughs> so every four years, uh, the modern day calendars celebrate a leap year where they have to put in an extra day so the calendar can catch up with the astrological calendar that's yeah. in the sky. Pretty cool. Pretty crazy. <laughs> Today is also Ja Rule's birthday. Happy birthday, Ja Rule. He's like five. What? what? Yeah, he's like five. 50. He's probably like, oh, he's 50, so he must be like 13. No, I think he, yeah, I think he's, I think Ja Rule is like late 40s, early 50s. Yeah. I think so. So, yeah. Sweet. Pretty cool. Pretty crazy. But you can expect a chance of snow happening today for your leap day forecast. It is currently 36 degrees outside. It is a 50% chance of snow, but it's going to be hot snow. It's going to be a high of 42 degrees. And so, then so later this week. rain, right? Hot snow is rain? It's hot. <laughs> well, it's going to be hotter snow, but it's still going to snow in the mountains for sure. And speaking of mountains, what can we expect in the mountains for snow? Well, it looks like that since it rained, we did get some snow up in our mountains. Uh, Whitefish got a one inch of new snow. Um, Blacktail, here I'll show you guys. Blacktail got an inch of new snow. Uh, Big Sky got three inches. Uh, Snowball got zero inches. Lost Trail got zero inches. And Discovery got zero inches as well. It looks like all their upper and lower base depths, though, are starting to recede. Um, you know, the, the season is ending, so it kind of makes sense. But yeah, get up there. You've got about a month left, I think. I think ski hills start to close beginning of April. Hmm. Yeah, they got one more month. So that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah. But of course, if you want to find out more information, you can go to onthesnow.com yep. or you can go to uh, the weather. You know, National Weather Service. National Weather yeah. Service. It's, it's really simple. That's yep. where I always find it. But of course, if you want to find more information about Wake Up Missoula, you can log on to wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice. We spelled it out twice for you guys. Um, you can go and see our current and past videos that we've shot at MCAT. Yep, including interviews, uh, Flakeshire like Friday video of the week, and of course, General mm -hmm. Space Hospital. It's riveting, people riveting. <laughs> this is our Missoula art scene. We have a, such wonderful clips that you can get involved with all by going on to wakeupmissoula.wix.com <laughs> slash wakeupmissoula. You can also find us on our Facebook page, and of course, um, Wake Up Missoula did sponsor a shoot on Friday night. Ooh, nice. As you can see from our Wake Up Missoula sign right there, <laughs> it's a shoot that... Um, um, Christian was making it's called Grid Street. I suggest you guys check that out and like them on Facebook. But of course, you can also follow us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like MCAT on Facebook. And then to find out more, oh yeah, there's a little picture of me and Scott. We were at MCT over the table, over the table, over the weekend promoting our summer camps. Yep. And so that was pretty fun. Photo provided by Mason Good Photography. Yep. Yes. And then to find out more information about us, you can just go to MCAT.org, uh, where you can find out uh, more information about us. You can check us out online. So like, if you don't have television but still want to watch, you can go to channel 189 or channel 190 and just click, and it'll take you to this screen. And you'll be able to watch our shows live. You'll be able to watch all these different programs. Even if they aren't yep. airing at that moment, you can still press play and watch them. And speaking yeah. of airing at any time whatsoever, you guys can also uh, watch um, the 36th Annual Public Land Conference. Ooh. Ooh, Public Land Law Conference, actually is what it's called. And it's happening tonight, and it's uh, new tonight on MCAT. So let's take a quick little peek tonight. Hold on that. My sort of first question, particularly in light of Sister Tompkins last night is, and, uh, and Peter Culp today, I wonder, is tequila really the secret sauce? I mean, maybe that's the key to achieving success. And they found it, and the rest of us are still looking for it. Um, I did think that one of the things that was really enlightening was success sort of breeding success. And, and even if you are faced with an impossible, seemingly impossible task, starting with something, and doing something, and maybe that's a meeting, maybe that's you know incorporating some of these ingredients that Solicitor Tompkins talked about, and then building on that, but, but it was important to start and begin that momentum of success. All right, so of course you can check that out tonight at three 
8.30 cool. p.m. It's not really tonight. It's more for today. That guy has a really nice speaking voice. Yes. I feel like that would be, that's like a pleasant thing to listen to. Uh, nice. Now we're listening to NPR people. Ooh, okay, yeah. so of course, um, the design excellence from Zool Workshop. They're doing a bunch of workshops happening, and of course, you're going to find all those workshops online on our website. But of course, this is going to be um, on channel 190, okay. our civic channel. And of course, they will be talking about it starting at 3 o'clock today as well. So if you want to switch over from the public land use law conference annual 36th. <laughs> <laughs> you can go to this uh, little uh, snin bit about uh, what people are doing with downtown Missoula. The virtue of downtown Missoula is that it does have a very strongly established context that is fabulous. Uh, it doesn't mean you should necessarily copy it, but you can learn from it and, and you can analyze it in a way that you could help identify what, what might constitute compatibility in that setting. There are corridors, the commercial strip corridors that America's done a fabulous job of, of creating uh, that are very entertaining for our cars. They love it. Uh, but the rest of us don't when we become pedestrians or bicyclists. Uh, and that's an area of focus where a lot of transformation is going on in corridors for a variety of reasons. We've learned we need to limit our vehicular usage We've learned that we need to increase density to accommodate an increasing population, and the corridors are one place that we can do that without disrupting established neighborhoods. All right, of course, you can check all that and more on our, on our um, website, mcat.org, and go to channel 189 and 192, watch these programs and more, and of course, or you can just wait to watch them on our channel, 189 or 190. But of course, before we go to events, I do want to show an art clip, because it is literally the last day of this art clip, and this is uh, the Gallery of the Visual Arts, and it ends on March 3rd, which, is co which coincides with our like our two-year anniversary yeah. in a yeah, way of broadcast and so on and so <laughs> forth. But of course, um, here is uh, um, some art and when we come back we'll have Noah with events mm -hmm. and uh, I look forward to seeing all your events. Great. Hey guys, we're back. All right, and so this is what's going on in your community today. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so uh, we're starting at 10 a.m. today to give you guys some time to plan after watching our show. Uh, so at the Lifelong Learning Center, the Lifelong Learning Center has got a lot of events and a lot of stuff going on today. Um, so over the Lifelong Learning Center, starting at 10 a.m. is called Over 50 and Fit. Uh, so this is for individuals who are over 50, who may be overweight or deconditioned, as well as those who are active but want a new gentle approach. So focuses on movement, toning, balance, and stretching using hand weight, stability ball, and some mat work. Over at the Public Library, they've got open time in our makerspace from 10 to 6. You can uh, work on a project of your choice or go in there and learn how to use their equipment. 
at Alpine Physical Therapy. They have intermediate and advanced Pilates reformer. Uh, this class is be- uh, offering the benefits of Pilates, as well as it's for re- those who are ready to move beyond the basics and tackle the challenge of more demanding exercise. Moscow Monday is at Montgomery Distillery at noon. A dollar from each cocktail sold goes to a nonprofit in the area. Uh, and then also at the Lifelong Learning Center, they've got a lunchbox special total body conditioning class starting at noon. Um, and so this is a break in your day for a total body conditioning class for strength tuning and, you know, getting yourself good balance and posture and strength. Uh, also at the Lifelong Learning Center, they've got a cycle challenge at 4.30. Uh, this is a class where it incorporates basics to immediate techniques with a focus on proper form, riding techniques, and offers more challenging options for experienced riders. And then also at 4.30 and also at the Lifelong Learning Center, they've got the ULA class. So if you don't want to bike, you can go work out and go to ULA. ULA is a high cardio dance fitness class um, that was made, that's kind of like Zumba, but it was made, started in Missoula. Hence the name Ula. Uh, duh. Yeah. Uh, so that's at 4.30. And then over at the Roxy Theater, they have a mindful movie called Waking Life. I don't know if you guys ever seen Waking Life. But it's about this guy who travels through a series of encounters and observations in a world that may or may not be in reality. And it's done in this really interesting animation. So it's really, like, dreamlike and distorted and abstract. Uh, but it kind of makes you think about stuff. So it's pretty cool. It starts at 4.30 at the Roxy. And then uh, another class, another ULA class at the Lifelong Learning Center, ULA Power at 5.30. And then over Taste Buds 6 Kitchen at 6, they've got a Taste of Italy BYOB cooking class um, at $40 per person. At Homeward at 6 p.m., they've got a financial fitness class. Uh, this is a, this is a class that helps you, uh, you know, like get organized, create a budget that works, talk about student loans and repaying them. Pretty much just get you and all of your finances in order and organized so that you're not freaking out anymore and you have money and you can save. It's free and open to the public. Uh, $20 gift cards are offered to households who complete the class. Four five so four six five three two. 4663 extension 10 is how you register for this. Or you can go to homeword, homeword.org. Like word. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there is an internet searching class at the public library at 6 p.m. It, you have to register, so just call 721-2665 or 721-BOOK. Um, and you can learn how to find out all the information online and on the internet that you've been wanting to but don't know how. Are we at REI at 6.30? They've got a bicycle maintenance for trail riding, uh, mountain bikes. Yeah, so they're just going to be the basics of setting up your bike and taking care of your bike for trail riding. It's, our, it's free. Register at REI.com slash Missoula. And then we have one more ULA class for today. So oh, if you wow. want to do some ULA, you can do it four or five times a day. So at Frenchtown High School at 6.30, they've got ULA. And then at Roxy Theater at 7, they've got Indigenous Cinema, Drunk Town's Finest. And so this is about three young Native Americans, an adopted Christian girl, a rebellious father-to-be, and a promiscuous transsexual who strive to escape the hardships of life on an Indian reservation. And then my last event for Monday is uh, over uh, in the UM Law School, the jur- Journalism Department has their annual Cole Lecture. And so it features Ken Wells, which is a distinguished journalist and novelist who grew up in the Cajun country on the banks of Bayou Black, Louisiana, about 50 miles southwest of New Orleans. Uh, he has worked for the Wall Street Journal, Bloomberg News, and is known for several novels. Um, and then he is presenting Not Your Grandpa's Business News, Confessions uh, of an Accidental Business Journalist. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so that's what's going on Monday. Up next, we've got ASAP. And, oh, wait, before uh, we have the, uh, let's introduce it a little okay, bit. Okay, let's, let's but of course, it. Of yeah. course, um, a year ago, ASAP wanted to, uh, we asked, hey, ASAP, do you want to do uh, your own little segment and stuff like that? Like, um, Yeah, the actual date was uh, February 25th, 2015. Okay, yeah. That was the very first musical notes. And like so since Noel in particular, since ASAP is so well versed with old artists and old music and old movies, we decided that'd be a fun segment. Yeah, yeah. And since that time, until just uh, the twenty sixth last Friday, when I did that story on the first lady of the Oregon, Diane Bish, I came up with my top ten since um, February twenty fifth. So, so let's start with number ten. Okay, the top ten or ASAP's uh, top ten, and other people that watch this might have a different opinion. So this is just based on my thoughts. 
Anyway, of all the stories I've done since February 25th, number 10 on my list is Moms Mabley, known to the world as Jackie Moms Mabley. She's billed as the funniest woman in history. And she, like I mentioned, influenced people like Eddie Murphy, Kathy Griffith, Whoopi Goldberg, and a whole lot of other comedians of the past. Number nine, we have Ultraman. And uh, this is the creature from M78 in the 40th galaxy, and he protects the Earth from the monsters. Number eight, we have Carmen Miranda. She's known as the Chiquita Banana Lady, known for wearing the fruit on her head. Chicka chicka boom. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, we have Myron Florin, the greatest accordionist of all time, who spent 30 years on the Lawrence Welk show. Wow. And uh, brought a lot of joy to people with his gifts on the accordion. Number six, one of my best friends, Deke Cannon Finley. This is the young woman who started my entire music career about 30 years ago when she was a student at Loyola Marymount University. She made it possible for me to meet Bumps Blackwell, Little Richard's manager, who went on to become my teacher, and the rest is history. Number five, Art Fleming, the original host of Jeopardy, hosted, that, hosted two versions of Jeopardy before Alex Trebek. Number four, Kim Hunter, best known for playing Dr. Zira on the original Planet of the Apes with Charlton Heston. Number three, we have actor Mark Goddard, and he's best known for playing Major Don West on Lost in Space, the pilot of the ship, the Jupiter II, helping the Robinson family, and also helping the Robinson family deal with that bonehead Dr. Smith. Oh, Dr. <laughs> Smith. <laughs> yeah. Number two, we have Indian actress Persis Kambata, best known for playing Lieutenant Ilea on the Star Trek, the motion picture, and like I mentioned, it has some great classic lines on there, like, um, you are the cut unit, you assist me. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, uh, before uh, we introduce our first clip, uh, do you have any honorable mentions that you, you wanted to uh, get on? Honorable mentions? You mean of the, uh, Yeah, they your top ten list. Any honorable mentions? Cause well, Persis Kambata, she her proceeds for her book went to help the women to charity, Mother Teresa's charity. So I think that was a honorable thing for this young woman to do. Uh, Julie Andrews is another good honorable mention. Yes, she is, but she's not on my top 10. Yeah. So. Oh, she didn't make the cut. No, she didn't Julie, make the... my sweetie Julie Andrews didn't make the no. cut. <laughs> someone, Sorry, Julie. Someone definitely had to overshine Julie Andrews. Yes, I know. So I hopefully Julie Andrews will forgive me. But anyway, our number one of all time on the musical notes, of course, is the lovely Sally Fields. And I chose her because of her television show, The Flying Nun, that she did in the early 60s when she was a young woman. And I remember, remember the reaction you two had, mm -hmm. like when she flew through the window and she was walking a dog and she was floating up in the air while walking a dog. Oh my God. So I thought that that would be worth my top 10. So these are my top 10 since um, February 25th of Musical Notes. And of course, tomorrow is March 1st, so I'll start a new series, and maybe a year from now, we'll have another top 10. Great. Yeah, awesome. So thanks, thanks to both of you for giving me this opportunity to do these Musical Notes. Well, thank you, Asaf. It's really interesting, and a lot of these people I've heard of or haven't heard of before, uh -huh. and it's just nice to know more about them. Yeah. yeah. And, and so, listen to them and watch them. And I have an interesting story. We're going to do a queen starting Wednesday of the culinary world. So nice. I'll leave it at that. Cool. <laughs> Thank you very much, Asa. And that was top 10 musical top notes 10. Yeah. with Asa Fat or Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is what's going on in your community tomorrow. Um, a meeting at Kearns Aquatic Center at 9. They've got a winter walking tours and coffee meets. They're going to go up to Marshall Mountain. Uh, they're going to snowshoe and hike around, and then after that, hang out and drink some coffee. It's only five bucks, and there's no city card discount. Boo! I know. I don't even know what that means. Uh, <laughs> over at Sacred Roots Healing Arts Studio, they have a mindful movement and meditation class at 10 a.m. Um, and it's exactly what it is. It's just helping you be more aware of your surroundings and being more present in that moment, and as well as meditation. So it's on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10.15 to 11.30. Uh, donation Classes are donation-based, and people are asked to bring their own mats and props, such as blocks, blankets, etc., on things you use to keep yourself comfy. 
Uh, over at the Missoula Art Museum, they've got a preschool art and storytelling at 10.30. Uh, this is $40 for members, $45 for non-members, ages 3 to 5. Um, and it is about, yeah, hands-on exploration of storytelling, storytelling, painting, and drawing. Uh, the Children's Museum of Missoula at 11 has got homemade wind chimes. Uh, you can see what you can make with everyday projects and bring your creation home with you. I want to do that. Uh, the Notorious PIG has Pig Community Day. So the Notorious PIG is a restaurant in Missoula. They're hosting the Boys and Girls Club in Missoula County with their weekly community day. So from 11 to 8 tomorrow, 15% of all food sales will go donated back to the local club. That's awesome. Yoga Warriors is at the Learning, Red, Learning Center at Red Willow at 4. Uh, this is for veterans and those that are affected by P PTSD and that have PTSD. And it helps you uh, kind of help with your anxiety and learn to sleep better and just cope. And it builds your core strength too at yep. the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Taste Buds Kitchen has got a Best Whoopie Pies Cooking Workshop, ages 6 to 10. 80, $180 per semester or $20 to just drop in. Lego Club is at Frenchtown Branch Lego Library starting at 4 until 6. And then over at the Zach, we've got Tune Up Tuesdays. This is at 4. This is a really, really cool event. So this is for little kids, uh, let's see, I think ages 8 to 16, so I guess not little. This is for kids ages 8 to 16 to go over to the Zach and bring their personal instruments and just rock out. You know, it's like, like you go to the gym and you go to the gym and work out. Well, you can go to the Zach and bring your instruments and work out that way. Um, so you can continue playing with your rock camp band, or you can just practice, rehearse, and hang out. That oh, sounds awesome. Well, I guess they necessarily heard some of the students who really uh, rocked it out as a band, because a lot of camps are only like a week long. Yeah. The idea is that they're supposed to basically learn a song or two, mm -hmm. come together, play with their band, and of course, if they really hit it off, they're just like, oh, we really have to organize a lot and stuff, but it's really great that the Zach is saying, like, hey, why don't you just come here again? <laughs> I know. On these Tuesdays. Yeah, and I, this practice. is the first time it looks like they're starting doing this thing. I know. I, that's what I think. I think that th that's just awesome. Mm -hmm. It's a good place for kids to go, and it keeps them out of trouble, keeps them away from other stuff. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm no matter how much right. kids fight structure, they always, you know, yeah. are drawn to it. Yeah, and even, you know, if there's a place that, like, encourages them to get together and be loud and do what they want to do and, you know, Then they the can come they to our to. Saturday drop-in animation camp every Saturday from 1 to 5. You sure can. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we'll yell at you if you're too loud. I, I wanted to <laughs> have a segue to that. <laughs> Let's well, talk about ourselves now. So, <laughs> MCAT, uh, it's going to be more March next month, and of course in March, we're going to do our um, community kettle house unite. Yes, we are March 16th. Uh, uh, MCAT unite, mm -hmm. as I call it. It's going to be on March 16th. It's the third Wednesday of next month, yeah. start, which is start tomorrow. tomorrow. No. Um, and then it's going from five to eight, and at every uh, fifty cents from each beer sold will be donated to us. Yep. So tell your friends we need to do more promotions. <laughs> yeah, I, put, I put it on Facebook. Put a Facebook event. Uh, I've been seeing people yeah. saying that they're going to go. Cool. And, cool. Perfect. Awesome. Great. Yeah. Did you did you get the event? I did. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll promote it. I'll look at it, promote it, and look at right. it again. But yeah, you guys will hear more about that from us uh, in the coming weeks. We're, we're just talking shop right here. I know. Now we're don't, just mind us, don't, yeah. mind <laughs> yeah, right. don't mind us. Don't mind us. Yeah, right. I love what you did with your hair. <laughs> 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 um, over at the Bar Movement Studio at 5 p.m. tomorrow, they've got Kundalini Yoga, Ooh. which is the yoga that I love doing. And um, it's really awesome and really weird. And there's lots of singing and chanting and I just love it. But, so they're gonna be talking about 10 Light Bodies of Consciousness, an Acra numer numerology series. Um, and so it's pretty much just uncovering your soul purpose with Acra numerology. I don't think I'm saying it right. But it's 10 classes, unleashes the power of Kundalini Yoga, incorporating breath, mantra, meditation, and postures in each practice. Um, yeah, it's really awesome. It's a great, it's a great yoga. I love it. So $90 a 10 week series or $11 to drop in. And that is on Tuesdays at five. Ooh. Yeah. Um, and then, over the Missoula Public Library, they've got two creative writing workshops. First one is called Writers Anonymous. This is at 6 p.m. Um, it doesn't say what room it is in, but I would think that if you just go to the front desk and ask them. And then they have got the Community Creative Writing Workshop. That's also at 6. That is in the Makerspace, and it's Makerspace writing as a form of making. Um, and that's from 6 to 7.30. <clears throat> And then over the Children's Museum of Missoula, they've got Kind and Firm. No, okay, this is at 
Hawthorne Elementary School, sponsored by the Children's Museum of Missoula. They have kind and firm parenting classes from 6 to 8.30. 6 to 8. Uh, so it's providing unconditional love and limits simultaneously creates an atmosphere of safety, trust, and harmony. I, I, I like the, uh, the throw in the firm of the yeah. parent names. Like, you know, it's... You're supposed to be kind, but also, you know, if your kid's just a little turd, it's always it's okay to be a little firm. A little firm, yeah. Uh, so call 721-7690 to register. Uh, there is a drum workshop and discussion with Drum Wicks at the Top Hat Lounge at 6 p.m. tomorrow. You can learn from an industry vet some performance tips as well as general life skills to what it takes to be a professional musician. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Good Food Store's got an easy and elegant cooking class, transforming the ordinary to extraordinary. So it's pretty much just like transforming ordinary foods and dinners that you'd make into like out of this world. Nice. So they're going to show you how to uh, revamp roasted Brussels sprouts, chicken wings, pho, the burger, and pasta alfredo. Sounds like a, uh, 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 like a, a cooking improv class. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> the burger. <laughs> cooking improv is just like salt, <laughs> essence of life. <laughs> Water. <laughs> <laughs> Transition music. D -d 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 -d. Dissolve. Press dissolve. <laughs> um, over at the Missoula Senior Center at 7, they've got their African dance class. It's with Tarn Reem and live musicians every Tuesday, 7 to 8.30. $10 to drop in or $35 for four classes. And then uh, we've got square dance at the Top Hat Lounge at, 10, at 8. This is usually, I think it's, I do believe that's usually the first Tuesday of every month. And uh, you can go down there. They have an old time string man called the Beat Tops. They have calling and instructions by Charmaine Slavin. So you just go on <laughs> down there and learn how to square dance. It's new. Yeah. It's. They, I think they just started it just recently. I think, I I think within it. the past year they've been doing it. Really? I think so, yeah. So it's hmm. pretty sure it's Because I thought they usually do the, uh, um, uh, the picking circle. Yeah, that's Tuesday nights. Yeah, they do do the picking circle. I just didn't talk about it because I always talk about it. Yeah, and it's, and it's always there. Yeah, it's always there. It's in the race scene area. Yeah, it's the yeah. sixth day, but uh, I don't know anything about that. <laughs> As always, you guys can check out Missoula Community Events, uh, MissoulaEvents.net. You can check out The Independent, the newspaper, or the University of Montana website for more events happening in your community. But of course, uh, this Saturday, we did a, a live action video from our stop animation camp, which we do that sometimes when the kids are a little Very burnt sad. out from doing stop animation. So we made, I made a quick little trailer with a group of them, and then we made an actual movie movie after the fact. So like every movie, you have to see, you have to sit through a trailer to see the movie. So yep. without further ado, here is uh, Futile, starring the kids from our stop animation Saturdays. <laughs> Anybody who is caught escaping will be shot. Anyone who gives me a dirty look will be shot. Anyone who steals my gum, Jeff, will be shot. Now I'm gonna get a snack. You four sit tight. Huh, you guys have any spare change? Oh crap. Okay. Yeah. Hey, come quick because. 
because he's right here and you're like so stupid and you take too long so hurry up oh my god <laughs> And I'm wondering, have you seen him? I ain't seen him. I ain't seen him. I ain't seen him. Okay, then keep your eyes peeled. Okay. thrown together and it just, I just had to yell at every other kid because they were just like, I want to be in the scene, I want to be in the scene. No. They were rambunctious. Yeah, they were very they rambunctious were so, last We had 16 Saturday. kids on Saturday and they were all just like super rambunctious, super like not wanting to listen, not wanting to do stop motion, they just want to run around and be crazy. Yeah. By the end of the day, I had had it for sure. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was a long day for me as well because yeah. I was helping um, the night before, Friday night, mm -hmm. and also we had to wake up early in the morning to do to our uh, MCT, promotion, MCT yeah. thing. Which was fun still. It was really fun. <laughs> like, I me, uh, like me and Noel were just like like watching the, like the, the dancers yeah. and just like commenting. Yeah, that's. Uh, I don't know if we were being like uh, very rude or whatever, but we we're we we're just having too much fun. It was a lot of fun. I don't think we were being rude because our dance instructor was laughing at us. Yeah. Too, and also making comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the dancers. Yeah. Really and then what did you say uh, one of the, about one of the songs is? Um, 
contemporary. Oh yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah. So they did like this cute little like at MCT they had a dance group. They did this cute little like cowgirl song, and then all of a sudden the music changed, and I was like, uh oh, now it's contemporary, and it totally was. <laughs> it was super funny. <laughs> and their dance instructor was standing next to us, and she'd been in some plays with Scott, and so she like looked at us and laughed, and she's like, it's totally contemporary. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah the, she did the choreography for um, Spam a lot two years cool. back, and uh, cool. I can't remember the dance troupe's name. It's a, it's like an extension of it's M's. off stage. Yes, off stage I think is what they're called. But it, it range, age ranges was from like nine years old to eighteen. Yeah, they and they all, all did really ranges. good, and they were they were awesome. Yeah, there's really one thirteen year old uh, who had like a pipes, great a voice, very great voice, she's belted. Yeah, awesome voice. Yeah, she's thirteen. I know. I was surprised. The, 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 the issue with like if you have a, a boy or whatever who's like thirteen. As soon as puberty hits, it's just like it's all over the place. It's all done. It's yeah. done up in there. Girls, they their voices only get better if they yep. keep cultivating their voices mm-hmm. into a stew of um, like, amazingness. Stew of amazingness. Mm. Yeah. That sounds like you know who has a really good voice? Huh. Like Christina Aguilar. Uh, she has like literally melted butter voice. I know. I love her. Mm-hmm. She's gonna be on the Voice. She is on the Voice. Yeah, and she's a host now. Yeah, she's been a host. Well, Gwen Stefani was a host. And yeah, Gwen anymore. Stefani replaced. Christine Aguilar. I think for a Christine while. is coming back. She's now gonna come back because Gwen's not in anymore. Uh, it happens. Who knows? I don't. I never really like Gwen. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. She's my favorite, but I don't like her solo stuff. Gwen Stefani? <laughs> no, Gwen Stefani is like one of my idols. I've loved her. I've loved No Doubt since I was like. 10 years old, but I don't like her solo stuff. I think it's bad. I don't think it's very good. It doesn't, it sounds tailored for the radio. You know, it sounds tailored. It's not. <sighs> well, well it, like, so, like, everything that, all the music that was playing at, during the day uh, at M- the MCT thing was just like all Disney, Disney Pixar, uh, DreamWorks. DreamWorks. Yep. And it's like, uh huh, dance. Literally how it is. Yeah. It's like very poppy. But I like I like all music. If it sounds good, it's like okay, this is pretty good. And then, and then the bass drops, and it's like oh my god. We've been waiting for the bass to drop all day at MCT. Yeah, the bass <laughs> but also one cool thing is that during our MCT hangout, uh, we got to see the basement. And I don't know if you guys have ever been in the basement of the MCT, but it's like rows upon rows upon rows of clothes. Clothing and shoes and props and sets. What and was that one piece of clothing that you were fell in love with that you desired? Oh my god! Desire? Yeah, you guys. I found this. I found this like I don't know if it was a dress. It looked like a coat. It's like this coat, white coat that went past my knees and on the bottom had real fox fur, and it was absolutely beautiful. I literally almost had a heart attack. I was like, can I? Can I rent this? Can I rent these, please? It was gorgeous. You can get my um uh, faux fur. Um, that I got for my Halloween costume. Yeah. It's really big. It's like massively big. <laughs> and it is, it is, I call it my pimp coat. I only wear like <laughs> once, but it's actually really nice. That's awesome. It yeah. It's like $50. I'm all about fur. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I found you know I can find I find all my Halloween costumes at Secret Seconds. Not saying that Secret Seconds isn't uh, like a Halloween shop, They're but great. it totally got, feels that way. Yeah, they've got great clothes. They've got great stuff for Halloween. Secret Seconds all the way. Yep. <laughs> We're like, but they uh, but their nonprofit approach is through the YWCA, which helps yeah. benefit um, um, women. women in crisis. Women yep. in crisis. In cri- women in the crisis center that needs needs. Yeah, mm-hmm. that ha- ha- needs stuff. Yeah. So it's not a commercial for Secret no. Seconds. Secret Seconds is great, and the yeah. YWCA is awesome. Yep. Okay, yes. cool. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, mm. That's clear. That, that totally clears it up. All right. But anyways, <laughs> thanks for joining us on this wonderful iteration of the probably the one and only Leap Day. Yeah. That um, Wake Up Missoula will be on. Mm-hmm. And it's, it was a great day. It yeah. was a great day. And, yeah. Well, it just got started. But, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's over now. It's been a great day. Scott and I are going to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I have to. Uh, Steve Gluker, the former curator at the Missoula Art Museum, is coming down here. He's doing his art show. So um, um, it's called Look Before You Speak. Cool. And he's doing art show. He invites um, community members from all over the state of Montana and hopefully beyond to come on a show and talk, just talk about art. Cool, that sounds awesome. Mm-hmm. Nice, I can't wait to see it. Yep, and I hope, and I told him, was like, hey, it'll be the best time to premiere would be in the summer, because mm-hmm. we're filming it now, and then by the time we get, we'll have a good er- iteration to yeah, get to Yeah, have enough, Lori. have enough episodes, yeah. But cool. without further ado, you can find out this and more information by logging on to wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash 
Wake Up Missoula. You can also like us on Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook. And to find out more information about MCAT, check us out on MCAT.org. And right before we go, we have our summer programs. Uh, wildlife Camp starts June 20th through the 24th. And it's a week-long camp um, from 1 to 5. Of course, Animation Camp is July 11th through the 15th. Of course, we may or may not add an additional animation camp the week after. Mm -hmm. But then our zombie film um, workshop is happening July 25th through the 29th. It's where we invite uh, teens and our young, youngish uh, or oldish, uh, old kids. I'll just mm -hmm. say older kids. 13 to 18. Yep. Yeah. To Dude. come down, do zombie makeup, um, make a zombie movie. Yeah. And it's great. Everybody loves zombies. Zombies are like totes in right now. I know. It's so weird. Yeah. I yeah. think people really want a zombie apocalypse, which would be awful. Uh, yeah, it would be awful. Yeah, It'd it be terrible. Be. I don't want that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, thanks for tuning in with us. And for Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noelle McAvoy. And I'm Scott Ramp. Here's ASAP Adonai.